Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a stacked bar chart, a simple one, like the one shown here, uh, using Python, specifically I'm using Python uh, in Jupyter Notebook and Python version 3. I'm going to scroll all the way back up to get started. Um, the bar chart, the stacked single one, is uh, one of the possible charts that you can create. Um, I prefer to use this one if I have some ordinal data because uh, then you can nicely stack everything up and then you can see perhaps where the 50% mark is or the 75% or s see the pattern a little bit easier than if they're next to each other but that's just my opinion. Um, to show you how I created this one uh, I will be needing an example file and that's actually going to be loaded using pandas uh, as a data frame and then um, I need to load the file. It gives me a small error because it's a huge file and I haven't fully cleaned it up yet but it's of no concern because the only field that I need is something about if accounting is scientific and I'm gonna use that as the example. So let's have a quick look at that data. I can uh, use uh, my frequency for that and then it shows me uh, they're not in the correct order uh, so I want to fix that actually so that I later on have everything in the order that I want because as you can see not too scientific not scientific at all it might be better if these two are swapped and um, these two are then okay now I can do that using re-index uh, so I can say well I'm gonna re-index and then the index is going to be first this one then that one etc and if I then use that same frequency table now these are in a nice order I want to keep the values and the labels of these so I can actually use that uh, values and index to list and I'm gonna call that my counts and my labels and I will print those and as you can see so these are simply the frequencies and these were the corresponding labels now to create the bar chart I will actually use matplotlib and then pyplot or yeah I think it's called pyplot um, and I want them actually as percentages so I'm going to divide the frequencies by the sum of the frequencies and then times a hundred that will give me a percentages that will look like this so these add up nicely to a hundred and then the trick to make a compound bar chart of just one variable which I found was harder to do than I actually anticipated if you wanted of multiple variables it's slightly easier um, is to actually uh, plot them at a specific value and that you actually stack them up yourself and for that we can use the so-called cumulative frequencies so I can use cum sum for that which uh, as you can see nicely simply keeps on adding up so this 32 plus 36 will give me that 68 then add another 20 that gets you to 89 uh, with the roundings and then the last one is 100 then for the actual plot so how does that actually work well um, I don't want to make it too big so I'm using figure fixed size then the bar plot itself um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make multiple bar plots and uh, each time with the same edge color so that I can separate the different stacks um, it's going to be from the percentages so first the uh, first value which is the zero so that's the 32 um, I don't want it to have too wide so uh, I put the width at 0 0.2 and then I'm gonna loop for the other ones over these so that's my for loop and then each time make a bar with then uh, the I starts at 1 so it's gonna start with that 68 in my example and what's it going to do is, uh, sorry, not the 68, actually the percentage, so the 36. And what's it going to do is it's going to say bottom. So below that it wants to have uh, the cumulative frequency of the previous group. So that's in this case the 32 for the first one. And then for the second one it's going to be below, uh, it's going to be 68. So that way it bumps actually everything up. Um, I also want to have the legend available so that I know which color represented which one and for that you can use something known as bbox to anchor um, because I don't want it to overlap with my chart and then finally uh, I'll plot the whole thing uh, I don't need any horizontal axis because it's just one uh, variable and then show the whole thing and if I run this 
I nicely get that bar chart with the different colors, the uh, legenda for that, and um, that's basically it. I can now see that uh, about 70% thought it was not too scientific or not scientific at all. So the majority is not thinking that accounting is very scientific. So that's easy way to read an ordinal variable from a visualization or get an impression of it. If you really like, I made this whole thing into one big uh, function. Well, big, it's not that big. Uh, which just repeats all the code before, but in a slightly more generic way. I'll put the link to the, this Jupyter Notebook in the description below uh, the video. And as you can see, it nicely runs. It takes as input the data, which column you want, um, or which field, and the coding. Uh, if you don't want to have any coding, then you can just leave it blank and then it will also just uh, work. Alright, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you do know of a faster way of uh, doing this, let me know in the comments below. Um, and one thing I haven't fully figured out yet was how to easily rotate this whole diagram 90 degrees. Uh, so if you know how to do that, um, in an easy way. I've seen some very complex uh, methods, but uh, I haven't figured out an easy way yet. Uh, still, I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.